Welcome to another video. Uh, today we're going to be having a look at Maya's pose space deformations. Uh, for those of you who don't know what these are, they are essentially a tool for skinning that helps you to get the proper deformation. Um, skin weighting itself doesn't necessarily give you all of the uh, results that you want. For instance, if I wanted to move my elbow, my elbow joint or my forearm here, and have this bicep bulge, I can't do that just through normal skin weighting because as you can see this elbow rotates through this axis so the direction of rotation goes backward for this bicep so if it's skin weighted to the elbow joint it would essentially press inwards whereas we want it to bulge outwards so the way to combat this and give ourselves the deformations that we actually want is to use Maya's pose space deformation. I'll, uh, I'll crack into that now. Okay, so the rig I'm using uh, is a HIK setup, meaning I have my joints underneath. If I just actually turn them on, sorry, I have them turned off. Boom, boom, boom. So we want left forearm, and we want that on, and we want you on. Okay, so these are the joints I'm going to be using, so I've turned them to be visible. So we have our bind skeleton underneath. So this guy here is our bind skeleton. On top of that, we have our FK rig, which controls the bind skeleton, and we've also got an IK rig which also controls the bind skeleton. Now it's important to note that when we're using the post space deformation we need to be directly adding the post space deformations to the bind rig because it's the only thing that affects the skin. So how do we get to our post space deformation? So we go to deform and you see here we've got uh, our PSD here and we want the pose editor. Immediately this brings up a window that is totally blank and we have two sides to it. This side, the pose interpolator, is where we add the joints that are going to be affected and this second window here is where we add the poses on top of those joints. So let me show you how this works. So if I select the forearm and I click here to create a pose interpolator, so telling Maya that this is the joint that will carry the data. It throws up some some warning telling me that other things are controlling this. Um, I'm aware of this so it's okay so I just click yes. Immediately it adds in our default poses, our neutral poses. So this is what it looks like when ze zero action has happened on this joint. Okay, so we need to add a pose that will be the elbow bent. So I need to get my control rig in order to do this because I can't use the joints themselves and I'll bend this into the position I want so a full bend I'm just gonna make sure that this is a, a number I can return to so I'll just put it a flat 100 okay go back to my HIK and select my joint and tell it now this is a pose that I want to create so I add a pose I've already named it elbow bulge. You can call it whatever you want, but elbow bulge works for me. So I want to create this shape and I want this skin to be affected by it. So create pose shape. So now this is registered as a shape. Um, currently I haven't edited the mesh, but it knows that when this joint is in this angle, it will trigger the shape that I create. So let's go and edit the mesh. You can edit the mesh however you want. You can create clusters, you can create lattices, you can use uh, the sculpting tools. Um, I'm going to just quickly demo uh, the soft selection on vertices. So if 
you don't know how to access soft selection, um, if you go to your tool settings, you'll see here there's a soft selection option. If I turn it off, you can see that it's just displaying two vertices that I have selected. When I turn it on, it shows you an area of influence. Now this has a drop-off radius, so as you can see, it's a smooth blend with all of these uh, other vertices here, and there's a drop-off as we go further away. You can edit the fall-off radius and other attributes in here, but I don't need to. It's set about perfect, almost as though I planned this earlier. So I want this bicep to bulge out. Uh, maybe not there. Um, let's grab this guy here and with soft select turned on bulge him out a little bit and bulge this out I also want it to compress a little bit as that bulges out so I'm just creating a, a kind of a rough bicep bulge pose here and a, a little bit of tricep as well. Why not? This guy works out. Okay, so there's a fairly nice looking pose. It's not perfect. And to edit this, I'll, I'll get my sculpting tools up. And I'll use this smooth tool. So the first option is the, uh, the sculpting tool, which will pull up. Or if I hold down control, push down. And if I hold um, shift, it will average out and smooth. So I just want to go in and use my smooth tool. Um, the strength is set quite high here, so I'm going to bring that down a little bit. I'm just going to smooth out these uh, these deformations just a little bit, so it's a bit more uniform. I'm just going to call that there. Um, there's enough of, de of a deformation so that we can see this working. Um, I'm not too worried about this being perfect, I just want to demo the tools. Okay, so if I bring my pose space editor back up, you see we're still in edit mode. And I'm going to grab my control and just zero him out. And you see on here this new bulge. Uh, control that I've created now has a weight value of zero and as I rotate this round it should start to trigger the blend shape and make this bicep bulge. There we go. As we rotate this guy we can see our bulge happening. Now the pro space deformation can help with extra deformation like bicep bulges but it can also help with areas like the shoulder which are notoriously difficult to get right. Um, the way I I tend to work is I'll skin it as best as I can in the positions that I want it to be in and then go in and add a new pose and just sculpt it and make it exactly how I want it to behave once I've finished with my uh, with my deformations. Okay, so we can see this working perfectly. Um, and this workflow I, I would advise um, you do need to if you've already got him rig you do you do need to switch between the control rig and the bones everything is applied to the bones um but everything on the bones is controlled by the control rig so you do need to remember to switch between the two of them i'm going to turn this edit off now so i can no longer edit that pose but it's still working as i wanted it to uh, zero him out and I'll make a quick one just on the shoulder as well. Okay, so let's make our new interpolator on our shoulder. Remember we need to select the joint and also the skin that is being affected. And now we'll create a new pose interpolator. Same warning message, but guess. If by any chance these default poses don't appear, you can go up to poses and add neutral poses here. And it will do exactly the same thing, just sometimes it doesn't automatically create them. So if that ever happens, just remember you can go into your pose editor and just add your neutral poses that way. Okay, 
So we need to create a pose for the up position. So first thing we need to do is move it into position using our control rig. Then let's select our joint. Oh, I just hit him. Now he won't come back. Bear with me. I'm going to make him appear again. Do, 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 left shoulder. Bring the bone back and left arm. Bring the bone back. Okay. Okay, so now that we have it in the position that we want, let's select our joint and our skin and add a new pose. Shoulder up, I've called this one. So let's create our pose shape. And the biggest problem we have really is this crunching in here. It's really not quite perfect. So if I move this down a little bit so I can see it better. Let's get my vertices. In fact, I'm going to sculpt this instead. It's object mode, sculpt, make it a small brush. And I just want to pull this up a bit. Maybe I need a slightly larger strength. Pull this up. Again, I'm not going to spend ages getting this perfect. I'll just show you the basic kind of power of this tool. So I'm just pulling things up and then smoothing them out. Okay, it's looking a bit better. Obviously, if you want to do this properly, the best way to get the results you want is to actually study human anatomy. Take videos of yourself and pictures of yourself. Um, and that way you can get things to actually deform as they would in the real world. Okay, let's just pretend that that's how we want it. And let's also tackle this, shoulder, this armpit area. It's just bulging out a little bit too much. I'm just going to smooth it. So it doesn't look quite so stretched and weird. Okay, and we'll go back to our control rig, pull that down. Now we have a much better looking shoulder area. So if I look at my pose editor, I can see that as I'm pulling this up and down, it is affecting the values. Okay, so I'm going to end the video there, guys. Um, if this helped or if you liked it, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And stay tuned for more videos. Take care.